I'm Roy Wall, one of the producers of Tom in America. My name is Flavio Alves. I'm the director of Tom in America. Tom in America is about, um, it's a love story about two elderlies uh, that have been married for 50 years and uh, with a tiny bit of secret that gets revealed in the film. It's about compromise. It's about uh, finding yourself, essentially. So, acted by Sally Kirkland and Burt Young. <laughs> What inspired me um, was the many stories that I heard, testimonies that uh, I, I collected in the past few years um, with uh, gay seniors and uh, their stories of coming out. The crew you know, and the cast inspired us you know, uh, on its own. You know. So it's not only the story, you know, but uh, everyone involved in the film helped us to make a better film. It, they all together inspired us and make, uh, you know, and, um, so it pushed us in the right direction, you know, and, uh, so which, which was about having the right story, the right script, having the right location and uh, uh, the right cast. You know, it was a combination of many elements that uh, mm -hmm. helped us to, you know, to tell a, a, a better story. There's a confliction between like, uh, you know, having really, really big actors, you know, and also um, an indie film, uh, you know, so it's, it's they're sort of conflicting. So it's difficult to manage that, I would say, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, so because there's certain expectations from the cast and then uh, certain expectations of the crew. And uh, so now we have to raise the bar for the crew as well. And for an indie, that's very difficult from a financial aspect. And as well as not financial, but also uh, the level of professionality on set has to be so much stronger to be able to um, fit the needs of the cast as well. This was a pretty big short comparison to other features that we've been involved in. In, in many ways, it's kind of like a feature film in terms of the production value. Mm -hmm. The cast that we have, the uh, talented DP, the uh, everyone that's involved essentially, it, uh, it created a sort of a much bigger project for us. We shot the film and, um, in Long Beach, uh, New York, and uh, Two or three days later after we shot the film, the, the Hurricane Sandy uh, destroyed the whole, the entire um, boardwalk. Mm. And, now, and then we could not actually do the, because we were planning to do some reshooting there, and, uh, but that was all gone three days after we shot the film. So thank God we didn't need to, you know, to reshoot scenes. My personal view, and uh, I think we share the same thing here with Flavio, but you know, as filmmakers, we have responsibility towards you know, all these people that end up in a theater watching a film. Of course, film is also for entertainment, but you, know, you have this opportunity to touch someone in a, in a way that they weren't, uh, you know, maybe they're, they're looking for, or you have, an o you, know, you have an opportunity to really show something uh, that you might know a little bit more about. And I think filmmakers um, in general have, I, I feel, especially in indie world, you have this responsibility and you have the opportunity, so why not use it, you know? Mm -hmm. And also, first of all, just like uh, right. Cleveland, give us as a tremendous platform to show our films, you know? Yeah. And uh, our films would not survive in a, you know, mainstream you know, theaters, you know? So having festivals and being able to be here you now at Cleveland, it's so great. You know, I came here like four years ago, you know, and I want to come back again, 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 because this is a great festival. And, uh, and when you go to the theater and you see, Theaters like packed with people. You know, that's tremendous. That's amazing. Now it's uh, so I'm so glad that I'm here. You now sharing my stories, uh, my little films with uh, uh, this great audience. You know, we love Cleveland. Mm -hmm.